Have you ever imagined living in a city where you have an automated lifestyle, transport and everything else just at your fingertips? If you think about the futuristic world, human settlements tend to have their own gravitational pull. Like stars and planets in the universe, cities draw people from all around the world. Bigger the city and larger the area it has, it tends to have a stronger influence. Hi guys, my name is Arya and I'm from Edureka. And in this session, I'll be sharing the list of top 10 futuristic cities that are being built all around the world. So let's get started and start a countdown from number 10. Okay, so at number 10, we have Naya Raipur. Now, Naya Raipur is one of the most upcoming smart cities in India. Most of the cities in India have to deal with sewage and waste management. So the developers of Naya Raipur designed a system that would make it India's first zero sewage discharge city. It also holds the prestigious title of the world's first integrated city using a master system integrator. So do you guys have any idea what an integrated city is? Well, it effectively manages the city's inner working and provides green land for afforestation, safe cycling lanes, and a well-lit network of educational sectors and digital citizen services with digital dashboards. And moreover, to provide healthcare and accessibility, Naya Raipur has developed a state-of-the-art medical community for its citizens that includes specialty in cancer and health centers. The city is a giant wonderland and you'd never want to leave from now until the master system decides to annihilate all of us. So these are the interesting facts that make Naya Raipur as one of the most futuristic cities in the world. Now, are you curious to know more about these kinds of cities? So let's look at the rest of the nine cities. So as you guys know that Japan is heading its position amongst all the countries in the world and some of the people also say that it's one of the most developed country. So keeping an eye on its rapport, it has built up a futuristic city called Fujisawa. So at number nine, we have Fujisawa Sustainable Smart Town. Now Fujisawa Sustainable Smart Town located in Japan was designed around green energy and a sense of community and future technologies. It was launched in 2014 and it is supposed to be completed by 2020 and so far, Around 1,000 people live there. The town uses a unique gateless security system that makes you feel free while you're actually being monitored by a big brother network of 50 closed circuit cameras. Residents can use their smart TVs to coordinate package deliveries. Moreover, they can use keypad controls for blinds, temperature settings, and lights. And there's also weather and disaster system alert. They even have electric cars to reduce dependency on fossil fuel vehicles, and the street lights have sensors that save energy by only working when vehicles approach. Residents over there can even sell excess power and have the option of using hydrogen fuel cells, which sounds really scientific. Now at number eight, we have Songdo IBT or the International Business District from South Korea. So as I just said, Songdo IBT is located in South Korea and it is also known as a ubiquitous city because every device, component and the service within the city is linked to an information network through wireless sensors. One of the most ingenious technologies used in Songdo is its trash system, which will suck the garbage directly from the bin and through a series of underground pipes that eradicates the need for garbage trucks running around the road to collect the garbage. Songdo is home to 60,000 citizens and will provide jobs for another 300,000 people. It produces a third of the fewer greenhouse gases and it also has over 100 LEED certified buildings that are the most widely used green rating system by reserving 40% area for green space. They expect that by the project's completion, Songdo IBD will become the central business center for Northeast Asia. And now it's time we move on to our next city. So at number seven, we have Hudson Yard from New York. Now Hudson Yard, which is located in New York, is the largest private real estate development in the history of the United States. One of the main structures of the city is the co-gen plant that will produce 70% of its energy needs, making it almost entirely self-sufficient. Since the energy is being produced on site, none of the future residents of Hudson Yard will have to worry about weather or any other unforeseen disasters knocking the power out. The developed jet engines and ventilations will allow the soil to be kept at optimal temperatures by stopping the heat from rising. The development also includes continuous monitoring of traffic patterns, air quality, power demands and environmental conditions. So that was it about Hudson Yard. And now it's time we move to our next city, and at number six, we have King Abdullah Economic City, which is based in the UAE. Saudi Arabia is a magical place where oil money has allowed its wealthiest citizens to build whimsical designed cities. The King Abdullah Economic City is just the latest of the sci-fi utopias being built in the barren wasteland. Specifically, to speak with, it is the future when the oil that so far rules the country runs out. In fact, plans for the city includes electric cars for its citizens with free of charge to cut down on carbon emissions. 
One of the more popular advancements here is automation through the Internet of Things, which makes pretty much everything in the city work for you at your command, like your very own genie. Now, it's an interesting fact to know that the King Abdullah port is being built across the Red Sea that channels the entire city's function. Okay, guys, so that was all about King Abdullah city in Saudi Arabia. And now it's time we move on to the fifth city that is Expo 2017 Astana. Now, Astana is the host city for Expo 2017 with a theme of future energy. Fossil fuels and minerals are the engine of Kazakhstan's economy and it has discovered the latest developments in renewable energy industries from wind, solar, biomass and many more which are incorporated under the sphere-shaped pavilions. They also have developed solar impulse and a Swiss solar-powered aircraft. Not only that, but also through a project called Glowy, it brings in a biological source of light using marine microorganisms and the bio device generates electricity from photosynthesis of plants. It is also said to be the pedestrian friendly city. Now till now we just saw about how cities were being transformed into smart concepts. Now let's see how history links with the future and made Ziggurat pyramid a futuristic one. So at number four, we have Ziggurat a Dubai pyramid. This giant pyramid that is supposed to be developed in Dubai by 2021. It's designed to be completely self sustainable running off grid with all natural energy sources like wind and solar. It's expected to have an internal public transportation system that runs both horizontally and vertically in 360 degrees, eliminating the need of cars and it is carbon neutral structure with green space for agriculture. OK, so that was it about this interesting little pyramid. And at number three, we have site from New Mexico or which also stands for Center for Innovation, Testing and Evaluation. Now researchers have transformed the Mexican desert into the Center for Innovation, Testing and Evaluation called site. It is a $1 billion project and also known as Ghost City as no one will be allowed to live there. It is said to be life size functional city that includes full size houses, a hospital, buildings and a highway to accommodate 35,000 residents, but people will not live there. It will be a home to testing for several innovations that comprises of self driving cars, intelligent transportation systems and green energy alternatives. OK, so that was it about the Ghost City site. And now at number two, we have Gujarat's International Finance Tech City or GIFT. Now with the growing population and to serve the growing demands of challenging jobs, GIFT project was taken into consideration to provide lots of job opportunities for the people. It's a city that is located between Ahmedabad and Gandhinagar and is said to be a global financial hub. Here they have the blanketed Wi-Fi throughout the entire city and they have designed various systems that watch and monitor just about everything like environmental sensors, an automatic number plate recognition system and the list goes on and on. Out of the 17,000 planned streetlights, 1,000 of them have already been installed and saves an estimated 30% in energy use. The geostrategic positions of GIFT benefits the financial markets by bridging far-flung time zones. The special economic zone at GIFT is targeting for nearly 10 times growth in job opportunities. Okay guys, now it's time for the number one city on our list, which is Mastar City. Now the Mastar City, which is situated in Abu Dhabi, has an ambitious goal to create a green and sustainable city. It is a city that entirely runs on solar energy and is the largest ecological footprint in the entire world. It is designed to be the first ever zero waste city. It is entirely powered by an 88,000 solar panel farm. Not only that, but also all the taps and light switches within the city are automated and based on movement sensors to limit the consumption as much as possible. To overcome the temperature challenges, they have designed a system that lowers the average city temperature by around 15 degrees. They have implemented computer guided driverless car system that will be a solution for the whole women can't drive in Saudi Arabia problem. And now to give you guys a bonus, I would like to add up one more mega structure to the list called Exceed 4000, which is located in Japan. Now it is inspired by Mount Fuji and can house up to a million inhabitants. The complete plan and design of Exceed 4000 is being made, but it is never going to be built. In this figure, you can see we have Burj Dubai, which is the tallest building as of now. But Exceed 4000 appears to be 10 times more taller than Burj Dubai. They also have horizontal and vertical transportation system that eliminates the need of cars and it also uses solar panels to optimize and maintain the temperature conditions internally. OK, guys, so this was my list for top 10 futuristic cities. If you have any other cities in your list, you can add them up in the comment section below. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. That's it from me. Goodbye. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. 
do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!